Hey what's up guys this is KF and you're watching Noise Tech. In this video I'll be showing you how you can get an iOS 14 look and the features on your Android device. The one I'll be using here is a Nokia 6.1 plus but you can use any of your Android device and do this and get an iOS look and feel on your Android device. The first app that you will be downloading is the iOS 14 launcher from the Play Store. The link to that launcher will be there in the description below. So now there are many different settings within the launcher like the control center, notification manager, assistive touch, X home bar, themes, desktop, scroll effect. Many different settings are available within it and it is a really good launcher. Let's talk about some functionalities. You have your notification panel when you swipe from the left. Yes, notification panel when you swipe from the left and if you swipe from the right you will be getting your control center. You also have those gestures. Your Android should be supporting the iOS gestures. So if you swipe up, you can close apps or if you swipe up and hold, you will go to the multitasking panel. Now this launcher is an exact clone of an iOS device. Basically, if you swipe down, you will see that you get the search options. So yeah, you can easily search across your device with the help of this search option. There are more different options. Within the launcher, there's 3D touch that works really amazing. You get different options within a single app, such as editing the home screen, in uninstalling an app, moving an app. There are many different shortcuts to apps. Like when you click on the contacts app, you have options to call someone. When you swipe left, you get the widget section. That is really amazing and it is almost an exact clone of an iOS device. The one that you see here, you get series suggestions. Then you have other applications such as you can add your favorite contacts and even your weather locations. There's even an edit option here so that you can manage your widget. If you look at it closely, you will see yes, there are many features that are same. Now coming to the next one of the most important aspects of iOS 14, the new widgets that are on the home screen. So adding a widget is really easy on your Android device and you have to follow almost the same steps. So you have to long press on your home screen, go to the widgets option. For that you have to download an app that is KWGT widgets. You will get the link in the description below. You have to download that to set those widgets. And there's one more app that is iOS 14 widgets. The link to that app will be also there in the description below. So you just have to long press on your home screen, select the option that is widgets and then you can select the size of the widget. Suppose you want a battery widget, so you want a smaller one. So 1 is to 1 is good. So select just the KWGT 1 is to 1 and then you can select a battery widget. You can enable the battery option from that widget. If you want to add a weather location widget, you can even do that. And these widgets look really amazing. Yes, on the actual iOS 14, you cannot place widgets anywhere that you want. You have to place them at some fixed locations, but that's not the case with Android. You can place them anywhere on the screen and you will love to use it. So guys, with the help of these two or three apps, each and every single feature of iOS is covered. You just have to download a launcher and for KW widgets, there are two apps, that's it. And you're good to go. So guys, this was a quick video on how you can get iOS 14 look and feel on your Android device. If you end up liking this video, do hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, enable notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.